Welcome to Living in Leesburg, Virginia. But before we dive in, please do me a quick favor. Hit that like button and smash that subscribe button too. It really helps me out. And I promise you won't regret being part of our growing community. Fairfax County and Loudoun County are popular choices for living in Northern Virginia. I grew up in Fairfax County. I went to Chantilly High School and I moved to Loudoun County about nine years ago. I'm really able to give you a good comparison on the two. Let's get to it. First, I wanna talk about where the counties are located, how big they are and so forth. Fairfax County is 406 square miles and it's located either between seven and 30 miles from DC. I say that because you could be on one end of the county that's seven miles or you could be on the further end that's 30 miles. Of the two counties, Fairfax is closest to DC. Loudoun County is bigger at 521 square miles and it's located 16 to 26 miles away from DC. If you commute to DC and being close to the city is important to you, you could live in McLean, Annandale, Tyson's, Falls Church, and be very close to the city. There's 10 metro stops in Fairfax County and in Loudoun County, your closest towns would be Sterling and Ashburn and Loudoun has three new metro stops on the Silver Line. As far as population goes, it's really interesting. Fairfax County's population is like 1.2 million people. Loudoun County is only 450,000 people. Since Fairfax is smaller and it has a lot more people, there's almost 3,000 people per square mile. In Loudoun, it's 864 people per square mile. So that's a huge difference. And I can say, I really feel that out here in Loudoun County. There's definitely a lot more breathing room here. I know that schools are a super important topic. So let me talk about the schools in both counties. Both counties have excellent school systems. You really, you really can't go wrong. Fairfax County is rated number six in the state, according to niche.com. And Loudoun County is rated number four in the state. And for those of you with budding athletes in the family, Fairfax County is rated number four best school district for athletes. And Loudoun County is rated number two. This is out of 131 school districts in the state of Virginia. So being ranked number four and number two are really amazing. Many graduating seniors attend in-state colleges like JMU, Virginia Tech, and UVA, but it's very, very competitive getting into those schools. Now I wanna talk about taxes and income. The median household income in Fairfax is about 134K. In Loudoun, it's about 157K. And according to US News and World Report and Forbes Magazine, Loudoun is the richest county in the US. Fairfax County came in at number five, but along with those high incomes, you remember of course comes a higher cost of living. So you gotta keep that in mind. Now it's everybody's favorite subject, taxes. Fairfax County's real estate taxes are 15% higher than Loudoun. This county pays $1.14 per $100 of assessed value. Loudoun pays 0.875 cents. So for example, if your home, if you have a home that's assessed value is 500,000, in Fairfax, you'd pay $5,700 in tax. And in Loudoun, you would pay 4,375. We also have personal property taxes, like for your cars. Fairfax County is 457 per $100 and Loudoun County is 415. So they're pretty comparable. But just to give an example on a $15,000 car in Fairfax, you would pay 686 and Loudoun, you would pay 623. The next thing I wanna talk about is real estate and traffic. Fairfax County probably has more older homes, although they definitely have a, a lot of new construction neighborhoods. But Loudoun County really started experiencing growth in the, in the 90s. You'll find more newer homes and bigger lots in Loudoun County. People move to Loudoun County, I think, so they can have a little more breathing room. The median prices of a home in Fairfax County is 750K. 
In Loudoun County, it's 780K. Home prices here in Northern Virginia are a lot higher than most places in the U.S. In Fairfax, the closer you are to the Beltway, which is also Route 495, or D.C., the more expensive the homes are. In Loudoun County, you'll find a more rural setting in Western Loudoun with homes on three plus acres and over a million dollars. If you're commuting to D.C., Ashburn and Sterling would be closer for you. And I would say traffic in Fairfax County is a lot worse than Loudoun County. I have experienced both, trust me. So now I wanna talk about some fun stuff. Both counties have great amenities, so you'll be happy with that. Fairfax has some great shopping at Reston Town Center and Tyson's Corner. There's also great places to hike like Great Falls and Hemlock Overlook. There's also tons of Civil War history for you history buffs. Wolf Trap is a great entertainment venue to see concerts. And Loudoun County has awesome shopping at One Loudoun. There's more of an urban feel there. A lot of people like it a lot. And also shopping in a historic Leesburg can be really fun. You can also hike at Bears Den Overlook, Algonquian, and Balls Bluff Battlefield. Loudoun is also really rich in Civil War history. I did a whole video on hiking in Loudoun, so be sure to check it out. Popular places to live in Fairfax County include Centerville, Chantilly, Fairfax, Springfield, and Vienna. It's a little more rural in Clifton and Fairfax Station. And in Loudoun, Ashburn and Leesburg and Sterling are really popular areas. Hamilton, Percival, Round Hill, Waterford, Paonian Springs. They're your more rural places in Loudoun County and they're in Western Loudoun. So there you have it, my comparison of Fairfax and Loudoun counties. Let me know in the comments if this video helped you. And if you wanna discuss further what it's like living in either one of these counties, just give me a call. I would love to help.